Doc Holliday just got off the stagecoach. Do you want me and some of the boys to come along with you? Why do you ask that? Well, I certainly wouldn't want to fool around with him alone. <laughs> I don't blame you. But I'm not going to make any trouble for Doc Holliday. He's my best friend. As long as I'm sheriff around here, the place is his. Mike, where's Doc Holliday? In here, Pat. Hi, Pat. Gosh, I'm glad to see you. Doc, how are you? You're looking plenty sassy. Hey, you wintered kind of fat, didn't you? What are you doing over this way? Well, for one thing, I want to have a little talk with you. And the other is this. Have you seen anything of a little strawberry roll? Somebody steal your horse? Yeah. Cutest little fella you ever saw. Mean as mean, but I dote on him like he was pure rock candy. <laughs> <laughs> What are you laughing at? Jokes on whoever done it. First time I ever felt sorry for a horse thief. <laughs> Did you hear he was headed this way? Yeah. Oh, I'll put that on the table in there. What are you going to have, Pat? Well, I started with rye. I don't see no cause to change. Where you been keeping yourself? Well, mostly across the border. That's what I want to see you about. I, uh, I need a little money, and I thought maybe you might want to come in with me. <laughs> well, what's the matter? I'll let you have the money. But if the deal is anything like that last one of yours, you better not tell me about it. Why not? Where'd you get that thing? Oh, they stuck it on me a couple of weeks ago. You're the last man I ever thought would be so easily satisfied. Well, man's got to settle down sometime. Uh, say, Mike, did you see anything of a strange strawberry roan? Strawberry roan? Yeah, about 13 hands high and cute as a bug's ear. Seems to me I did see one about that size. Yeah, when I came on duty. Where? Up in front of the dentist's place. Yeah, where's that? I'll show you. I'm only going to tell you once more. You put that glass on top of your head. But what are you going to do then? Just put it up on your head. I'll show you. Best thing in the world for that dandruff of yours. Wait a minute, Doc. Hello, Fred. Hello, Pat. You're still using that one, am my old standby. Never has failed yet. How many fingers do you see, Fred? Well, I guess I'd better take Fred over to the jail, let him sober up there. You go ahead, Doc. The dentist's place is just up the street near the corner. I'll be along in a minute. you got here, Sonny? I think so. Where'd you get him? Bought him in Santa Fe Springs. Why? Somebody stole him from me in Socorro. If it wasn't for those two guns, I'd say you were starting in pretty young. You think it was me? They hadn't told me any different. I ain't going to. My name's Holliday. Doc Holliday? Yeah. I've heard of you. Thanks. I don't want to take advantage of you. Thanks for a while. I thought it'd be the other way around. What's your name, son? Bonnie. William Bonnie. Billy the Kid, huh? Still think I stole your horse? How much did you pay for him? 
wouldn't do any good if I told you. Why not? I like this little horse, and I've got kind of used to him. So have I. I don't blame you. Just like sitting in a rocking chair. Now, look, son. I hear you're pretty good, Doc. That's what I hear about you. All right. You mind standing away from the front of that horse? Pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? No sense in going to all this trouble for nothing. That's right. Hello, Doc. Any luck? Yes and no. What do you mean? It's your horse, ain't it? It was. Say, you're a cool one. Better get you over to the who's car before this gets around. Come along. Ah, uh, thanks, Doc, for being so forbearing and all. All right, Pat. See why I left off is just a kid. I told you to come along. Didn't you hear what I said? Yeah, I heard you. You're not doing any better than I did. <laughs> Wait a minute, Pat. I'd like to make you acquainted with this young man. Uh, Billy, this is an old friend of mine, Pat Garrett. Pat, this is uh, Mr. William Bonney. William Bo Well, well. I've been wanting to meet you for a long time. How are you, Billy? Hey, Pat. How many fingers do you see? <laughs> you ought to use that only on your friends. While you two are talking, I better put my horse away. Back up, boy. Oh, you hold it, Pat. Don't fly out the handle. Nice little horse, ain't he, Doc? <laughs> Remember me? Where's Mr. Gear? I sent him home. How about you and me having a little talk? I don't believe in talk. Unless the other fellow holds all the cards. Sonny? That head of yours sure is screwed arm tight. If it wasn't, somebody would have knocked it off long ago. I guess that's right. Say, how did you know Pat was going to hit you out there? Well, it's the first time a sheriff ever wanted to shake hands with me. He heard you say shake hands. Huh? <laughs> How do you do, Mr. Horse? I'm pleased to meet you. Well, I'll swear. I didn't know he could do tricks. What else can he do, Doc? You back up there, and I'll make him walk over and take those gloves right out of your belt. Over that way a little. I'll back a little farther. That's far enough, kid. Put your hands up. All right, Doc. This is something new for you, ain't it? What? Being arrested for horse stealing. Doc, you know I didn't steal that horse any more than you did. Billy, many a true word is spoken in jest. This is something new for you, too, isn't it, Doc? Yeah, what's that? The great Doc Holiday, getting someone else to help him. And a policeman at that. I can hardly believe it. And after the way I've heard people talk about you, ever since I was in short pants. That's enough of that. Turn around. Now walk out that door. Oh, wait a minute, Pat. Why? Well, this thing don't seem to sit right on my stomach no how. What? Doc, you're not going to back out on me. I'm afraid I am, Pat. I'd never hear the end of this. Hold on. I'm not through with you yet. Step aside, Doc. You may shoot me in the back. They tell me that's the way you've given it to some of the boys. Now, Pat, that's a pretty strong thing to say. I never heard anything like that. Well, Mr. Garrett, if you believe that, here's your chance to do the same to me.
come in, Doc? Yeah, I think I will. the two of you out of this town by sundown. Well, what did I do? That's all right, Doc. You've got the right to choose your friends. Shucks. I don't take kindly to that at all. He knows there's no stage until tomorrow. And he knows that I'm afoot. Or am I? Not by a darn sight. You mean that, son? Sure. We'll dig you up another horse somewhere. Son. I got room to the hotel. Doc, could I see you a minute? Well, sure. You might as well cash me in. All right. What's on your mind, son? No offense, Doc, but that last ace you just drew. Yeah? What about it? I got a feeling I saw it on the bottom of the deck. Are you sure? I wouldn't have asked you if I was. <sighs> That's where you showed good sense. Here you are, Doc. Oh, right. 640. Thanks. Hmm. Yeah, you could have paid three or four times for the horse and still saved money. That's right. Hope you're satisfied now. You gonna turn in? Yeah, I think I will. Well, I'll walk down to the hotel with you. Good night, gents, and thanks. Good night. Good night. Doc, if you're not already fixed up, you can bump with me tonight. No, thanks, Billy. I've got a girl. She and her aunt just moved in town. Yeah? You got a girl, Billy? No. I ain't got nothing. Except that horse. You can't fool me, good-looking boy like you. You must have a girl somewhere. No. I don't trust him. Hey, you're pretty young to talk like that. Well, I've known quite a few. And they all did you dirt, eh? Every one of them. Yeah. Every one of them. That's too bad, Billy. I guess things haven't been so easy for you, have they? Tell you what I'm going to do. Since that little horse means so much to you, I'm going to make you a present of him. That's awful nice of you, Doc. Thanks a lot. All right, Billy. Good night. See you in the morning. Good night, Doc.
Privately. Just thought I'd say good night to the little horse. Well, if you're all through, you might as well put him back in his stall. All right. Good night, Red. See you tomorrow. What? No kiss? No, he don't like mush. All right, back in your stall, Red. Hey, that's my tobacco, isn't it? I think it is. You don't mind if I take that, do you? Red, I think I'll bunk right here tonight. If you don't object. shooting at me for? Hey, are you crazy? Stop. Cut it out, do you hear? Can you understand English? Can you? Yes. What's your name? Real. What's the rest of it? McDonald. McDonald. Where'd you come from? What do you care? Where'd you live before you came here? Sakura. McDonald. Oh, yeah. Who was he? My brother. Well, he shouldn't have taken so much tequila. What became of the girl? She married another fellow two weeks afterwards. Well, that's the way it is. How'd I know he was your brother? It was him or me. And I didn't lay for him in no barn, neither. Sorry, I'm so rough. 
up with you. You didn't hurt me. Sure. It's too bad I didn't know. What? He was your brother. What's that got to do with it? Well, maybe I wouldn't have tried so hard to get the other girl. Oh, you wouldn't. There's a rock under here. Here, let me fix it. Let me go. Hold still, lady, or you won't have much dress left. A dentist can make anybody holler. Look out. Here he comes. Sorry to keep you waiting, Doc. I'm in a hurry. Say, mister, you're Billy the Kid, ain't you? That's what they tell me. She wanted to tell you. Hey, 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 you know, hey, wait a minute. One at a time. Have you really got 20 notches in your gun? Is it true you got 13 Indian scalps in your war bag? I had to throw them away. Why? The malls got to them. Boy, you should have tanned them. That's the best way to keep them. Is that a fact? That's what my pa told me. What are you doing with that piece of willow, son? Trying to make a whistle, but I can't get the bark off. Have you soaked it? I sucked it till I'm near dry. Can't you shoot the insides out? Yeah, can yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put it up on that post. Can I hold it? Can you hold it steady? Sure. Billy, you don't have to prove anything to me. It's all right, Doc. Turn the end up a little. A little more. A little more. Don't you ever have to bother to take aim? Sure, I took aim. When? Before I drew. Look, Billy, it's all right. You fixed it fine. Thanks. Glad to help. If there's anything I can do for you, Billy, just let me know. All right, I sure. Bye, Billy. What's the new one on me? What's that? Aiming before you draw. I've got to. Why? My hand seems to be a little quicker than my eye. Well, ain't that too bad. Where'd you get the horse? I bought this one. <laughs> Looks all right. He'll do for the time being. Ham and egg. Fry the eggs on both sides. I'll take the same. Mine straight up. How about a cold hand while we're waiting? How much? How's that? Suits me. Before you get started, I'd like to speak to you for a minute. Who is he? I don't know. What do you want? Let's go in the back room. Why? You don't know me, but we have a mutual friend. Yeah, who? And I don't like him any better than you do. Oh, Garrett, eh? The name sounds familiar. Figure on staying in town tonight? Why? Well, everybody knows that Garrett told you to get out of town. Sooner or later, you're going to have a little trouble with him. I thought I might give you a hand. That's very kind of you, mister. Listen, I ain't doing you no favor. It'll be a pleasure. Now, what I figure is, while he's arguing with you, he won't be watching anyone else. So it'll be a cinch for me. Be careful you don't knock me over with the same bullet. Don't worry, I'll stand at an angle. I'll do it like this. Now, uh... Suppose this chair is Garrett there. And if you're standing about where you are, why, I'll be over here. Do you mind if I draw my gun so you can see the line of fire? No, go right ahead. Come on 
Come in, Doc. Well, what happened? He's a pretty smart hombre. Do you know him? Yes, he's been hanging around trying to talk Garrett into giving him a job as a deputy. Yeah, well, I guess he figured if he got Billy, he'd be such a hero, he could have the deputy job. Or run for governor if he wanted it. You better get out of here, son. Why? He pulled on me first. It's gonna be hard to make Garrett believe that. Well, we'll see. my dough. Well, uh, I guess I must have picked it up. You're foolish to stick around, son. I think I'd be a whole lot more foolish to pull out. And Gary to be sure that was my fault. Come on, cut the deal. What you mean is you want to play poker, huh? That's right. Doc, you're not worried about me if I tangle with Garrett, are you? That's pretty good. I know I'm better than you do. All right, if you're so good, then you'll get your horse back, won't you? Say, I never thought of that. Doc. Sorry, son. I never lend money in a poker game. Spoils my luck. But I'd be glad to have you put up the little horse for a hundred. I guess you would. boys? A little hand to poker? No, thanks, Doc. Were you in there when it happened? No. But listen, Pat, he pulled on Billy first. How do you know? His gun was on the floor. That don't prove nothing. Pat, you've got an ugly temper and you're letting it get the best of you. You have no right to hold Billy for this killing, and you know it. You just saw it, and that's all. Doc, I'm going to give you a chance to stay out of this. Thanks. Your horse is outside. Go on, get on him. Good luck to you, Doc. Same to you, Pat. Well, what are you waiting for? He's waiting for those chickens of yours to hatch. Are you going to put up a fight? Well, I'll tell you one thing, Gary. I ain't going to jail for no killing I was pushed into. To do. I still think that fella pulled first on Billy. Are you throwing off on me again? No. Then what do you call it? Well, uh, since I figured that this is purely a personal matter between you and Billy, 
Uh, I don't think you ought to bring in all this uh, hired help. Well, uh, I only did that to keep Billy from putting up a fight, so I wouldn't have to kill him. Do you uh, stuff birds, too? You're making a big mistake, Doc. Turning on an old friend. All because of a little snip who's never given anybody nothing except the back of his hand. Speaking of hands. Come on, let's get out of here before this hothead makes us plug him. He ain't gonna run me out of town. All right, if you want to hold the fort while I ride off on your little horse, it's all right with me. Well, since you put it that way... Go ahead, Simon. Take it easy, Pat. Doc, this finishes you and me for good and all. I'm sorry. Can you get up, son? I don't know. Can you make it to the horse? I think so. That little horse did pulling me out like that. He's a regular bird dog. Say, I gotta get you under cover someplace. Oh, I'm all right. Charlie, you better stay here and have a look around town. That kid's got a bullet in him. He ain't going very far. Let's go. that yelling. Doc! Get these horses out of sight. Got a bad one on the left side, but the bullet didn't hit anything vital and came out from the back. Don't move at all, no matter what you have to do, or the bleeding will start again. And I guess you better cut his clothes off. Put a bandage on the wound and see that it's always moist. Keep him warm and dry, no matter how much he sweats. If he gets a chill, he's a goner. He goes out of his head, tie him down. The neighbors hear him yelling, well, tell him your aunt's got the smallpox. That'll keep him away. Yes, that's all. Now do your best for this boy. 
If I can't come back, I'll send word where I am. And Billy can bring you along. like a baby. He's so hot. He's no hotter than your brother Julio was. He's soaking wet again. Get me some sheets and what, Lupe? Get them yourself. What's the matter with you? I wouldn't lift a finger for him. Looking for him around here. Well, ain't that too bad? Chico, what's the matter with you? He smells the blood. He was just getting ready to peck his eyes out. You stay out of here. Your name McDonald? What do you want to know for? What's the matter? Why don't you want to tell me? Yes, that's my name. Why? Was your father's name Angus? Yes. Well, my name's Woodruff. Charlie Woodruff. I used to work for him when he was town marshal at Socorro. Oh, yes. I, I, I guess I was a little girl then. Charlie. I'm going to love him. I'm going to love him. Very well, thank you, Say, you're getting fat as a pig. <laughs> what are you doing up here? I've been working with the sheriff. By the way, we're looking for Billy the Kid. If you should happen to hear you anything... get out of here! <laughs> Why don't you come in and sit down for a minute? Some other time. I'll drop in the first chance I get. What's wrong with that bird? Oh, nothing. I have a hen sitting under the bed, and he likes to peck at her. Want me to get him out of there for you? Oh, no. Everything's all upset in there. We just got up. Goodbye. I'm glad to have seen you. Same here. So long, Aunt Guadalupe. I'll walk down a ways with you. Oh, no, you won't. Lunch is all ready. Goodbye. I'll fix you. How's Billy? Looks like he's having a chill. A chill? I tried those hot stones with a Julio, but it was just the same. He 
shook like a leaf till he died. You get out of here and shut the door. Get out of here. Have you gone crazy? You can bring the minister here in the morning if it'll make you feel better about it. Now get out. You're not gonna die. I'll get you warm. You can't stand this pace much longer. I guess I'll just have to slow those boys down a little. It's none of my affair, Pat, but we crossed the county line ten minutes ago. That's right, Swanson. It's none of your affair. trying to figure this out. How'd I get here? Doc brought you. Doc? Oh. Are you Doc's girl? Well, what do you know about that? Be careful, your wound. You'll hurt yourself. That's right, I remember now. I caught one yesterday, didn't I? Yesterday. a month ago. You've been terribly sick. A month? That's a long time. How's Red? Red? Have you been taking good care of him for me? Who's Red? Didn't Doc leave my horse here? No. Well, I'll swear. I didn't think he'd do a thing like that. Behind my back, too. Is he all right again? Say, who's this old lollipop? It's my Aunt Guadalupe. Guadalupe, como esta? You haven't got a ham sandwich on you by any chance, have you? You hungry? I don't think we have anything cooked except some beans. That'll do for a starter. Hey, lollipop. Hey, you don't talk like a sick man. You said I was. What does that lollipop mean? Something sweet. Sweet? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Like candy, you know, dulce. Oh. Is that a fact? Where are 
are you going? Oh, to see if I can find a fresh egg or two. How do you feel? Fine. When do we eat? He just had lunch about an hour ago. Honest? <sighs> Will you bring me my clothes? I want to get up and have a look around. What for? Well, I can't spend the rest of my life in bed. Anyway, I want to see if I can find my ring. Your ring? Yeah. I had a ring on this finger and it's gone. I've been sort of worried about it. Oh. Well, you mustn't be upset about a thing like that. You can always get another one, can't you? Well, this one's been kind of lucky for me. Belonged to a fellow who's supposed to have had a charm life, as long as he kept it on his finger. Well, then how did you get it? Did you kill him? No. Somebody else did that. Oh. Well, then the ring wasn't so lucky for him after all, was it? Well, nothing happened to him until he took it off the horse's hands. No, no, you better not get up till tomorrow. You said that yesterday. But you're not strong enough yet. Who says I'm not? Billy, you mustn't. You'll hurt yourself. Why don't you quit wrestling with me? But you've been so sick. You're not well enough. You're not... I want you to go down to the store with me. I have some washing to do. You've got all afternoon to do it. Come on. I have to fix my hair first. All right, hurry up then. Why do you have to go with her? I better. What if somebody should come by? Like that deputy sheriff friend of yours the other day. Yes, that's right. I'll go tell Aunt Guadalupe. Break the door down. It's the rain, Doc. I, I couldn't hear a thing, Doc. You don't need to yell so loud. I'm not deaf. Did you ever see such a storm and it's been going on like this for three or four days, Doc? It was lucky for me, the only way I could shake those bloodhounds. Washed out all your tracks, huh? Can we? First sit down I've had since I left here. How's Billy? Oh, he, he's fine. Sure, he, he has been up almost a week now. Good. Where's Rio? Rio? Oh, yes. 
Oh, so that's what all the yelling's about, eh? I'm going to call help you. Oh, wait a minute. You made enough noise now to raise the dead. <coughs> oh. So that's it. All right. Where is he? He's getting dressed. Well, maybe I better give him a hand. No, no, Doc. Please, let me talk to you first. What got into you? Were you drunk? What happened to you? I don't know. He's a devil. He did the same to me. He can charm a bird right out of a bush. Yes. Or, uh... I never saw it to fail. Don't talk that way, Doc. What do you want me to say? Bless you, my children? You might as well. Huh? I'm married to him. To what? That's the truth, Doc. Only please don't tell him. Tell who? Billy. You mean to say he doesn't know it? No. And how could you be married to him? He was out of his mind. I never would have done it, only I thought he was going to die. And so he would have, if it hadn't been for you. I don't want his gratitude. Yeah, I guess I should have stayed out in the rain with the chef. Make me a cup of coffee. Sure, Doc, sure. It's a good thing you don't want his gratitude. Why do you say that? You know, when I come to think of it, after what you've done to me, I couldn't wish for anything better than you hooking up with Billy. What do you mean? Oh, I, I wouldn't want to spoil it for you. Hello, Doc. Is that all you've got to say to me? Now, look here, Doc. I'm sorry. But it's your own fault. Oh, my fault, eh? Who brought me here? You yeah, know you want to switch the blame on me. First you take my horse and then my girl, and both times is all my fault. That reminds me of something else. 